Joe, they're killing me. Yo, this is cap. This is cap. This is cap. This is this is a thing about TV. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to expose this, fam. You're killing me. Hold up. Hold up. Jesus. Cap. Wait. Look how the narrator lies. No, wait. Sorry, I've just I've just spoken. I've just spoken. Fed up with a depiction of black men in porn, <laughs> decides to make a new video. <laughs> the big black pop. I don't care, fam. <laughs> Come on, man. Do me dirty in this thing still. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. In the morning. What's going on, the people? They miss your boy Cam Topical Juice, and wow, fam, guys. There's a reason why I didn't say, yeah, to tune into Channel Four right now because I had to watch it myself first. I had to pre it myself first just to see what it's saying and the narrative they spin. It was, I, I'm 50% happy, 50% is cap. It's just cap. And then obviously the, the blessing about me having a YouTube channel is bro, man can just set this straight right now. Obviously not everyone's gonna see it. Most people won't, but if anyone checks out the channel from off the back of the channel four, they'll see, come on man. I have to rectify a few things. But anyway, man, let's get into this video, but I like that video for me. Hit the bell to be notified for me. Subscribe button, all of that, all of that. And uh, roll to 50,000, man. Let's, let's, let's get there. I'm, I'm bare tired. It's late. I'm in bed. I just tuned into this thing. I had to watch it. Um, and I'm going to address it real quick so I can just wake up and forget about it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was actually a good watch, bro. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it still. But cool. Boom. So anyway, as you lot know, or as this video says, I don't know, as I was in a Channel 4 documentary, whatever, whatever. So, boom. Basically, someone had discovered my video about the fetishization of black men from two years ago you feel me and uh what had happened was they had said to me that oh they're doing a, a documentary this is a, a, quite a while back now they said they were doing a documentary about big willies and now i'm thinking raw this is jokes and then like they wanted to bring me into it as like the element or could, if you're going to talk about big dicks you want to, they wanted to, the director wanted to talk about the idea that that of stereotypes the black men have big dicks rah, rah, rah. so i was like okay i get it so if i like, imagine now just a quick side story the the, the, the casting woman calls me here and she goes yo rah, rah, rah. like the first thing she says she goes yo how big's your dick <laughs> well, well really and truly she said how big's your penis in it and i was like right is this what we're doing so bearing in mind, I did not really know they were going to show that on the screen. I'll get into that, by the way. I'll get into that because, again, I only found that out like yesterday, basically. Um, and, and I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than that. I didn't realise that, basically. But um, anyway, it's what it is. Um, and I was like, right, is this, is, this, is this what we're doing now? Like, it's, <laughs> it's a, bit of a bit of a mad thing to say. But anyway, boom. So I've been doing mad filming with them. I was filming a lot of days. I filmed with my boy Dwayne, Big Up D. I filmed with a, um, another stripper. Um, I filmed with another, I can't remember what the other guy was called. I've got him on my WhatsApp, Big Up You. Um, and yeah, and none of that got shown. Like we had a lot of good shots, but the way they portrayed it, bro, I'll, I'll get into how they portrayed it anyway, but like that's how it happened. So there was bare things that didn't get shown. And obviously they've messaged me now after I've come back from Marbella. They're like, yo, we need you to come to a male strip show. So I'm like, I'm like, rah. But me, bro, I'm comfortable with my sexuality and I don't care. Obviously, man can go there, do the thing, whatever. And I, they, it was under the impression that I was going to interview the people. So I interviewed the people there. I interviewed the strippers, every single one of them. None of those got shown. None of those interviews got shown. They were proper sick interviews as well. It's a shame. It's a shame they never got shown. Because in the short segment of time that they had, they really had to portray this narrative that, oh, oh my God, oh, I've been fetishized my whole life for my dick. Like, well, come on, man, that ain't true. Like, of course, being a mixed race person, light skin, whatever, I've been fetishized in my life, of course, and that's something that frustrates me. It frustrates a lot of my friends, but it's not, it's few and far between. Like, it, it's not like an everyday occurrence, like, so much so that I'm, oh, I'm a crusader, I've got to make videos about it. Come on, man. That whole thing was a whole narrative. It was a whole narrative pushed by the director and Channel 4. Don't get me wrong, I, I love the, the, well, the, I really like the director. The director's a real cool guy. I big him up still. But, like, that's the narrative they had to spin that, oh, Oh, I've just all I've, I've just lived a life of fetishization. Of course, that's not true. Like, I never even made a video on it. Of course, guys, if you remember that YouTube video I did make, that wasn't that was because they asked me to. Do you know what I'm saying? The whole the whole the whole character they kind of brought me in for was I'm the YouTuber 
who wants to explore fetishization. Of course, that's not why I started my YouTube channel. That's just one of the many topics that I do on this channel. I've done a billion and one topics. Of course, that's not the thing. So when they were like, oh, this is Cam and he oh, has been fetishized his whole life. Like, I mean, in one breath, yeah, I have been fetishized for a long time, but it's not, it's not that thing really. It's like, bro, I don't care. Like, and then it, fam, then the narrative, oh my God. Then the narrative about the porn. And he was like, oh, Cam feels so strongly about the porn. He's going to make a YouTube video about it. I mean, come on, bro. Of course, I, as I said before, of course I care about these things, about the fetishization. So, you know, these, these porn categories do push these negative these negative things. Of course, that's a, that's a problem in society. But again, the way they portrayed it was like, oh, oh my God, I feel so strongly. I have to make a, a mad video about this, bro. They just told me to, to make a video about it and they were gonna film me do it. They, I never was gonna put the video out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's, it's all, it's all kind of to construct a narrative. So I need to make that very clear. It's all, it's all a narrative. Cause me, again, as I, I reiterate, I do care about these things. That's why I talk about these things, but you know, not so much so that it's like a, I, I'm burning, it's a burning passion. I've got real life problems that I deal with, mental health, finances, life, you know what I'm saying? Like, man don't live and breathe fetishization, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, was, it was funny to watch it though, it was funny that, like, it was just hilarious, man. It was hilarious. It was actually hilarious watching it back. Like, come on, do me better than that. Like, I'm not, come on, I'm not, like, come on, man. And, and obviously, cool. I didn't know that my my thing, my size was gonna flash up on the screen like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. So obviously, there was a whole backstory behind that. I can't, let me even tell you the whole story, fam. So the woman who the woman who asked me about my size and that, she's like, oh, cool. So we need to verify. This is and this is the next conversation. She goes, we need to verify. I said, what? Ver verify what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> verify what? So she's like, oh, now like, we need to verify if the things, whatever, oh, like, what do you mean, Like, in my head, I'm thinking, I've got no shame, so I don't, I, I, like, I'm comfortable with my size, but it's, something feels a bit off here, you know what I'm saying? So then, obviously, I'm like, cool, I'll do it. And then later that day, I was like, I'm not really comfortable emailing you a picture of my dick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really not really comfortable. And she comes back saying, you know what, I understand. Put it in a Word document. She goes, put it in a Word document and, with a, with a, and lock it and I'll uh, and send me the passcode. And I'll, I'll lock it. I was like, you know what? It's not really gonna run still. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really gonna run. Um, so then obviously, she basically said, like, listen, maybe you can just show the director on the day like a picture of something. So I was like, calm, it's a picture or whatever. I mean, I care about that, I man. Whatever, you can just do that, whatever. I don't care, like, as I said, I'm comfortable, I don't care. Anyway, the day comes, man doesn't ask for the picture in it. Doesn't ask, so I was like, cool, I'm good with that. It's like, in the end, I didn't get it. Cause I, listen, I said, listen, I'm I'm on YouTube, innit? Like, I'm, I'm trying to be this public figure now or whatever. I don't want no fame on that, really, but I'm trying to be this public figure, trying to do things or whatever. I don't really want that just on some next, hard drive somewhere you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i was like no i'm not really on that still so i never even had to show it anyway but then basically like a day, like basically two days ago he's like oh like ev everyone's penis is size is going to be flashed on the screen like do you mind i was like not not that like, no i don't I, sorry i do mind in it i don't really want that like i'm not really comfortable with that um like, I, I don't really want that on the screen still, do you know what I'm saying? I, and he was ah, uh, everyone else is doing it. Um, it. It's not that big, it's just gonna flash across. And I was like, ah, uh, I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. I was like, fine, don't worry. But I was like, go on then, innit? So I did, I kind of agreed, innit? But it was like, I didn't know it was gonna flash like that. And the way they, just the way they portrayed it, man, I just didn't, I didn't think they were gonna flash it like that, to be honest. So it was just, I just, I just didn't, yeah. Obviously, it is what it is, innit? It is what it is, innit? But, yeah, it's a bit long still, but at the end of the day, it was, it was, it was a very, it was a very interesting watch. It was very interesting. Um, obviously, oh yeah, let me tell you about the Mel Strip Show, obviously. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I enjoyed myself. So obviously, I was just chilling in the changing room. I ain't ever seen a man pump their dick, dick up before, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Obviously, I'm not watching it, but like, I'm just sitting there. In fact, I even did it. I think I, I'll even show, I can even show you a video uh, like I took on the day. I did a vlog actually. A day in the life. Yeah, yeah, day in the life. Watch my day in the life video, fam. Uh, that was the day I went to the strip show. Bro, I ain't, bro, I enjoyed myself, you know. <laughs> it was a, it was a joke's day still. Um, yeah, tune into, tune into, I'm going to put that vlog, I'm going to put that vlog in the description. Tune into the vlog. I ain't going to lie, I had a good time still. Because like, in the, the, the initial day, the initial part, I was like, ah, oh, 
I'm just chilling in the changing room. I weren't watching the show in it. And then afterwards, I came out and I saw the vibe in it, and I thought, you know what? Sticks aside, this is actually a, this is actually an entertaining show in it. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I, obviously I won't be going back anytime soon. But big up all the people there, by the way. Um, big up all the people them there that were hosting it and let us in. They were real cool people, man. Real respect to every single one. And big up all the strippers as well, all the male male performers. So the exotic dancers, big up, big up your team still. And um, yeah, man. Let me just get this video out ASAP still. But yeah, it's crazy seeing myself on Channel Four. But it's just the way they portray it, though. Like, oh, he's been better like, my whole life. I mean, if, like, as I said, me and my friends, we all have, but it's just not adapting, innit? It's not like that frequent, like every day or something, that like, it's something that I'm gonna, it's driving me crazy. Oh my God, I'm fetish like, I was like, come on, man. This is real life. I've got real life problems, you know? Like, that's not that's not what I'm thinking about on a, on a day to day stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, man, big up all you lot, big up all you lot, and uh, yeah, man.